Hey guys, Rival Boss here, and today I'm bringing you another video on uh, the Arcade 1UP. This image, we're going to wait for the little intro here. Is, this image is called... Drumroll. The Dynamo Arcade. Okay, so what's cool about this one? So this image is much different than any other image I put up. Uh, it does have a tracked mode. Uh, it does have emulation station. Uh, the emulation station does not is not a functioning thing though. So this is pr pretty much an arcade uh, or tracked mode only setup. Uh, what is cool about this though is while this game this this image does not have quite the same amount of ROMs as um, some of the other ones, the cool thing about this one is. It's really special in the fact how it is presented. It is presented in a really uh, pretty way. So I'm Rival Boss, and we're going to look at this image. Uh, so when you boot it up, you're going to get a please set up your controls. Uh, you're going to set up your controls by pressing the A, and then you're going to press up, down, left, right, A, B, you know, all that stuff. Get it all set up, and then you're going to get this screen. And it's going to say this build is designed to only be used in attract mode. Please, uh, not emulation station, please go to options and then scroll down to attract mode. So we're going to do that. We're going to go down to options. We're going to hit our emulation station button. Remember, this is going to switch when we go into attract mode. So we're going to hit our button. And then as you can see, the ratio is a little messed up, but we can still make it out. Uh, we're going to go down here. It's towards the bottom and you're going to see switch to a truck. And if you leave it there for a minute, it will cycle over and say attract mode. You're going to boot it into attract mode. You got a little bit of link music going on. Pretty sweet. Um, now this image is really unique in the fact that uh, it doesn't have a lot of ROMs, but what it does have is each game has an individual screen, uh, select screen, which is beautiful. Somebody spent a lot of time on this image and uh, putting it together and if you're looking for a professional image that's really well put together i recommend this one and it's also a small image this is uh will fit easily on a 32 gig card uh, which means you could also expand it if you want to um real quick why this boots into the thing i want to take this time to thank you guys for subscribing and following and liking the videos we are getting so close to that thousand sub mark, uh, subscriber mark. It's awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Um, and we're, I'm going to have more videos coming out, uh, hopefully a lot more soon. But right now we're just kind of, I'm having to work a lot. We've had like a sick animal that we had to, I had to take to the vet and all that stuff. So when it finally boots, you're going to get this utility screen. And I do want to do one thing real quick while I'm here. I'm going to go into the utilities. Now remember our buttons, you can see up here with my fingers, they used to be the bottom set for emulation station. They're now going to be the top set. Jab is going to go forward most times and strong will go back. So we're going to go into the utilities real quick. Okay. Or actually it kicked me out of that already. We're going to go back to utilities and I'll kind of show you everything in this image after I, I quickly do this. Um, so this image has um, bezels, and we don't want those bezels. So we're going to go into here to get rid of the bezels. Uh, you can get rid of them temporarily inside of RetroArch, but we want to get rid of them, you know, we don't want to ever see them, okay? So inside of the settings, we're going to go to uh, Config Edit, and we're going to go into Config Edit. Uh, I also turn the music on. If you don't like the music, you can actually turn the music off. Uh, I'll show you where to do that too. So in, you're going to go to configure, uh, configure basic Libro emulator options. Okay. Going to go into there. Remember you're an emulation station now. And then you're going to go down to this one that says configure default options for all Libro emulators. Okay. You're going to select that and then you're going to want to set your ratio. Okay to five by four. So this will set all games to five by four. And then we're going to go down here to over, uh, uh, overlay enabled. And we're going to, that will be set to unset when you first have it. You're going to want to set that to false. Okay. Uh, now you can also turn on your video smoothing if you want that. You can also do your render resolution. So if I want to set this to the highest resolution, 
I can, you know. So we'll just show you how that works. Um, and after you that, then you're going to exit out of this by going to cancel. Go to cancel again and cancel again. And now we're going to boot back into the game. Uh, real quick, if you don't want the music, you just go down to this background music. I'll show you real quick how to turn it off. Maybe. Come on, baby. You can do it. Oh, it's uh, I did it myself. Was it in RetroArch? Was it in Attract Mode? So all you're going to do to turn the music off is you're going to go to Disable instead of Enable. And if you want music, you Enable and you reboot the system. So after you reboot the system, you'll have music, okay? Or not music, depending. Um, I kind of like the music, so I'm going to leave it on. Um, but so... I'm going to show you real quick what I'm talking about with this being a really nice professional image. So inside of each one of these, you know, you have your normal tracked mode, but after you go in one step closer, every single game has its own little cool uh, intro. Like, it, yes, it doesn't have a, a ton of images, but man, every single, it looks so professional, like 720. Uh, and the other cool thing I'll show you in a minute there's another cool thing here. So yeah, it's really cool. Like every single one of these, and we'll go back out, has its own little art. So it looks so nice. Uh, we're gonna go down here to Capcom, just to kind of show you. And look at some of these Capcom images. They're so pretty, like the Final Fight, Forgotten Worlds, Ghost and Goblins. Look at, like this is such a nice professional image. Um, Street Fighter, I bet, let's see what Street Fighter looks like. Look how nice that it looks. Pretty sweet. So as you can see, it's just a really nice professional image. Um, go down here to Capcom 1 real quick. I was just going to show you. 1940 Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Uh, Captain Commando. I mean, they're just so nice. Uh, now the other cool thing this image is going to have, I'll show you real quick. Wanted to show you how cool. Uh, where is it? I think it's in actually number two. Let me show you guys Capcom system two. Yeah. Like dungeons and dragons. They have uh, this, this guy is from uh, infinity blade, but like it looks really good put together. Like if I didn't know that was dark souls, that's a dark souls image, but, and then infinity blade. But I mean, look how professional this is. And they do use original artwork sometimes too. And every single one of these ROMs has its own very unique intro. It's so pretty. Um, I will show you real quick, uh, let's see. So in Data East even has like games too, like Burger Time and Robocop. Let's see what Robocop is. Oh, how cool is that? So yeah, every single, uh, ROM has its own thing. Okay. So real quick, we're going to show you guys what I was talking about. So we're going to go back up here to Capcom systems two. And this is mostly arcade games too, okay guys? So you're gonna get most of your things. Now, when we select one of these games, uh, you're gonna see something. So we're gonna select it. And when it loads, it has its own custom loading and all the buttons, like all, all like this real nice custom art that you will see that would be on the side of the machine if you were playing the machine. And then because we've disabled the bezels and stuff, everything will be gone. It will be the correct ratio and it will, everything will, you know, be correct. Now, if for some reason you still have bezels and you just can't, got, got to get rid of them, you can press start and, uh, or the select button and jab to go into RetroArch, at which time you're going to go down to your on-screen overlays. And if those are on, just switch those to off, off you know, off. And then uh, you're going to go down to, or up to or go down to configure can your configuration override going to go in there and then you're going to save core overrides. OK. Uh, to get out of here, we're just going to go back, quick menu, resume. So, yeah, uh, I'll show you a couple more things on this image real quick. That's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, and it works really nice. You've got your full working games. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of, I wanted to give you guys something a little bit different than what I normally do, where it's just a ton of ROMs. This is definitely one of those quality over quantity kind of things. Um, this is a beautiful, very professional image. Uh, and if you want something just kind of like people can come over and easily, you know, play and it just look very professional, 
this is the image for you. Yeah, it's not a huge image. Like I said, it's almost all arcade games. But of those arcade games, it's just beautiful. And uh, we do have, I'll show you in here, we got Cave. We got, um, it's mostly shooters, Daddy East. We got your Fatal Fury collection. We got your M uh, Classics. We got King of Fighter uh, collections. We got Konami Classics. Like, these are your good old Ninja Turtles, X-Men. Here's a pretty title screen for X-Men. Uh, here is, let's see, go up here to Turtles in Time. Uh, it's not Turtles in Time. Oh, it's one more. Turtles in Time. And they all, every single in, uh, one of these ROMs has a beautiful uh, intro screen. Uh, I probably am going to keep this image for a while. Uh, I'm still going to be releasing my own image at 1,000 subs. So, you know, if you would like to have my own image that I've been working on uh, released, stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, this is a really pretty well done image. Um, and yeah, let's see, Midway, you got your good old metal slugs. So we can go in here to see all the metal slugs. Oops, I launched a game because that was metal slug too. But as you can see, again, we have nice little side skirts and nice custom loading screen. Uh, the game is running in the background. What a cool image. And then the game starts. How cool is that? Neo Geo. Anyway, Metal Slug. Uh, but yeah, and you know, Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug 3, and they all have their own little individual title screens. 4, 5, and X. Okay. Back real quick. Namco Classics, so you got your Driller Man and all that stuff. Uh, Nintendo Classics, these are Nintendo arcade machines like Donkey Kong and Pac-Man. We got, uh, I don't even know what Razzling is. I'm going to guess this is a bunch of shooting. Uh, Sega Classics, let's see if what's in there. So yeah, these are like, these are like Sega arcade games. Look at this Alien Storm intro. Like, how cool is that? I like, uh, did you even see the, look at this art. This is a model, so somebody must have cosplay and this guy found this. Uh, SNK Classics, so these are all your SNK games. And like I said, we're definitely going quantity, quality over quantity here. So if you liked this image, please uh, go ahead and subscribe it. I will put a link to the actual image name, and if I can, a direct link to the... Let's see, Tycho. Uh, a direct link to the um, image, and more than likely, it's probably uh, Arcade Punk's uh, website. Um... But if you liked this video, please like and subscribe and check out our other videos. I will be having a video very shortly coming out uh, for uh, basically I love Earth Defense Force and I bought Earth Defense Force 5. Uh, I bought a physical copy, which you might not even know exists. Uh, but yeah, and I'm going to show off uh, Earth Defense Force 5, so stay tuned. Uh, and this is the Rival Boss signing off. Thanks for watching, guys.